after scores, probably the most complicated part of this whole clock um, is adding penalties. Um, and in reality, penalties are actually fairly simple. The same as before, there's home side and guest side. So you enter the penalties on the side that you know that the penalty came against. Say the home team gets a two-minute penalty. When it's time to enter the penalty, you go. The first thing you do is press the player penalty button. And you'll see here in the screen that now it shows the home team has a penalty that wants to be entered. Next thing you do is enter the number. You can enter 05, just 5, 1, 5. So in the case here, you see now I've entered player 5 is going to have a penalty. Once you've got the player number entered, you hit enter, and it moves over to the time. As you can see, in general, most of your penalties are going to be two-minute penalties. So the automatically, you'll have a two, minute, two minutes on here. If, at this point, you needed to change the penalty time, you just go press whatever you need to do. So if it's a, you say it's run time, and it's, so it's a three-minute penalty, there's how to set a three-minute penalty. If you want to set a five-minute penalty, see, I cleared that off. If I type the wrong thing, it's easy to clear it. You just hit clear. It goes away. Five-minute penalty. There's a five-minute penalty. You hit enter. Okay, now you'll notice up on the board that the home team now has one five minute penalty. All right. Now at this point, once the clock starts running, the penalties will start running down and running down, counting down. Um, if the home team, the away team scores while the home team is on the penalty kill, um, so you stop the clock because they had a goal, you enter, add the guest score, you, it's time to get rid of that penalty. Well, if there's only one penalty on the board at any one time, that fact is real easy. You go to the side who had the penalty and you push the clear all penalties button. It asks you, do you want me to clear all the player penalties? You say yes, and now they're all, they've all gone off the, off the board. Where it starts to get complicated is when a team has more than one penalty. So in the case of multiple penalties, Let's say what happens is uh, um, the home team is really having a problem today and they commit another penalty. This time it's player f four and he commits a two minute penalty. So there we go, they, on the board they now have a penalty for two minutes. At this point some clock, we run the clock down a ways. And at this, if you have to, at some points you might have to just change the time from because somebody, you know, the person forgot to turn it on, they forgot to stop it, it was whistle blew, a referee may come up and tell you, all right, you need to, there's actually should be, instead of 11 minutes, 26 seconds on, you need to have 11 minutes and 11 seconds. So you can just do this at any time, set main clock, 11 minutes and 11 seconds, and at this point, when you hit enter, it asks you, oh, it automatically adjusts the clock for you. Many times, it'll say adjust main cl adjust penalty timers, and you say yes, and it would automatically subtract however many you took away from the clock from the timers. Now, at this point, some of the penalties run off, and the home team gets another one. And this is a um, player penalty. Another two. This time is number 26. Enter, and he's on there. Um, and it's two minutes. We just hit enter again. So now there's two penalties on the board. One for a minute 46 and one for two minutes. So now we start the, the clock runs. The teams are playing. Um, and the away team scores a goal. So at this point, because they are, uh, the home team was shorthanded, the away team gets one of their penalties. Uh, the home team, the penalty comes off the clock. Now in, in all cases, when a penalty comes off the clock, it's not the order in which they are called. It is the amount of time left on the penalty. So in this case, the first penalty was the shortest one, so that's the one that will come off. So since you have multiple penalties on the board, you don't want to just go clear all penalties. You want to find the one with the shortest time and delete that one. So in this case, you push the delete penalty button, and it shows you the amount of time left on them. With the arrows here, you can scroll up and down and see all the penalties that are there. So in this case, we have two penalties, number two, player number 26, and player number four. Player number four's penalty is the shortest, so that's a minute 31, so I'll delete that penalty. In this case, you hit yes, enter, that penalty's gone, now we only have the minute 46 left. Now, when you, if at this point, some more time runs off, and the home team gets another penalty, and you go to enter this, this penalty, player penalty, number, third, number 12, and he's two minutes, 
There's now, once again, two penalties on the board, but the shortest time penalty, if you look at them, is not penalty one, but penalty two, a minute 42. So it's always important if you have more than one penalty on there to delete the penalty with the shortest amount of time left. Uh, that way you don't have to be going back and figuring out how much is left and entering things back on because you deleted the wrong one. It also gets the correct person out of the box. Um, in the case of multiple, more than two penalties, as those penalties, oh, no, we don't want to delete those. So now we have two penalties on the board and they're clicking down. And uh, now I end up, play stops, and we get another penalty. This time, player 14, and he's got two minutes. So now, if you'll notice, we'll start running the time down. There's three penalties, only two on the board, because that's all the, the scoreboard fits. But there's actually three penalties being tracked at this point. Now, in hockey, only two penalties are ever counted unless it's a misconduct penalty. So when we go look at these, interrogate these penalties, in the game clock, you'll find something very interesting. Now, the first penalty, a minute 39 left. The next penalty, a minute 21. And the third penalty, still two minutes. That third penalty has not started counting down because only two of them can actually be applied because there's only two men down at any given time. So don't be surprised when the first penalty rolls off. So don't delete that. So now we're at, uh, we can set the clock. At nine minutes, oh. and it adjusts the penalties down to nine to nine seconds for one, and uh, um, a minute for and and, a hundred, and fifteen seconds for the next. So when the nine minute pen, second penalty rolls off, the two minute will immediately appear on the board, and it will start counting down then. So don't be surprised when they come and say, "Hey, why is that?" penalty so high, it's because it doesn't start counting until the, there's the room to serve them. The same thing goes for um, a player that has a two minute penalty and a misconduct. The misconduct time does not begin until the two minute penalty ends, either by time expiring or by the other team getting it over. So you always sit a minimum of your misconduct and however long your other penalty takes.